In today's video, we're going to be taking a look here at our upcoming weather over the next 10 days. Of course, we're going to be taking a look at the past 30 days. We're going to be taking a look at all of the storms that we have going on and then the upcoming temperature pattern as well. I have a very, very exciting announcement about Prestige Weather to tell you guys about. We do have our first winter forecast officially posted on our community that you can check out today by signing up for only five dollars a month you can get early access to that we won't be uploading that for about a week or so um, so you're gonna want to get early access to that if you are curious we also have the early access to our fall forecast still available and that one is probably gonna be uploaded the day before our winter forecast so they're gonna be coming out back to back on the YouTube channel here but they are both available now on our community so go ahead and check that out today we also do weather consulting so any last minute consulting you need done for tonight on the 4th of July would be perfect uh, for prestige weather now let's get into things and as you can see over the past 30 days we do have colder air that has been set up over a lot of the eastern states here okay so for the Ohio Valley the mid-atlantic the northeast we have very very cold temperatures that have taken place compared to normal over the last 30 days same story here for a lot of the west although these areas probably in about 15 or so days when we're making a video and taking a look at this same exact thing a lot of these western states are probably going to be a lot warmer uh, than we're seeing here so that is going to be warming up overall uh, we have some warmer temperatures kind of doing a roller coaster over here uh, this is mostly the upper midwest here that's been dealing with some of these warmer temps also down here in the south central states we've been dealing with warmer temperatures as well for texas louisiana uh, mississippi where we've had a very hot summer compared to normal i've gotten a lot of comments from our friends down in texas that are very confused about why i'm calling for a very cold uh, summer because it just hasn't been that way down there but it, as you can see it's only a very small region um, so a majority of the nation has seen colder temperatures it's just there is a couple of these pretty exclusive areas that have been otherwise as we take a look here into the storminess we can see that by the time we're reaching into the day here on Tuesday uh, we can see that there is some thunderstorms around here for a lot of the east and the gulf states so we're seeing plenty of these thunderstorms firing up here uh, definitely a very very interesting setup for sure uh, and a lot like what we see typically this time of year um, just the flaring up of these thunderstorms with the humidity and the heat now as we take a look here at the Rockies into the northern plains we can see that there is also plenty of thunderstorms taking place over here and also some snowfall there in Wyoming and Montana 4th of July snowfall in the lower 48 can you believe it I don't know as we move into Wednesday the 5th here we can see that there is again this flaring up of sorts that we're seeing taking place here uh, and then you can see that we also have uh, these thunderstorms rolling through these areas right behind it and that's going to be a little bit more organized so overall a lot of stormy weather moving into the eastern half of the nation by the time we're reaching Thursday evening on the 6th we can see that these are still here it's two separate areas okay so we have this line of thunderstorms here along that line that I just drew and then this flaring up of those typical late day thunderstorms in the summertime here now we're gonna probably feel the impacts of both they're very very close together and they probably will interact in certain ways as well as we reach Friday you can see that we do have a little bit of an organized low up here um, a line of thunderstorms here in the southeast northeast the mid-atlantic here uh, we're seeing these come through and it's kind of meeting up with where we saw those flaring up thunderstorms and probably leading towards more intense thunderstorms overall for a lot of these areas uh, as you can see for the plains uh, especially the northern plains here regions in the southern plains as well dealing with these thunderstorms uh, really really active weather here for a lot of folks going on and really really just um, been a stormy pattern for a lot of these areas and it's not moving either it's like sitting over the same areas so it's becoming more and more impactful because of that uh, we can see again a, a very similar setup actually we have these flaring thunderstorms up and down the east coast like I mentioned no organization to them at all uh, but we do have this kind of bowing out look of a, of a more organized line of thunderstorms moving in behind it and this is where we're gonna really feel the impacts most likely um, is, is with this system and as you can see by Sunday that's really really impacting a lot of the eastern states we can see a little bit more of an organized again area of those thunderstorms there and then we have round four or something here taking place in the upper midwest taking aim at the east uh, by Monday we can see again this kind of linear storm mode now reaching all of these different areas 
And then we can see this stronger low here, 999, is also bringing some thunderstorm impacts down here to a lot of these areas here. Uh, so definitely just a very impactful pattern that we find ourselves in. Tuesday the 11th, this rises up further into Canada as a 998, mostly bringing impacts actually here to the northeast uh, with some thunderstorms kind of rising up like this. And then we also have these typical summertime thunderstorms going on down south. As we reach Wednesday the 12th, one week from tomorrow, we could see another area of some pretty strong thunderstorms moving across the Ohio Valley in the Midwest here. So we're seeing Missouri, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. They're receiving impacts from this. Uh, and then by the time we're reaching Thursday the 13th, we can see that this kind of spreads out and leads towards a little bit more of a, uh, again, linear type of motion in the storm. So really, really interesting pattern we find ourselves in. Um, and definitely going to be very persistent with the storminess. I hope I've hammered that home. I think I've said it enough times, but uh, we could certainly see here on the total precipitation that this pocket, especially here, uh, so I'm going to draw it just like this, where things are kind of moving across like this, uh, also bringing impacts down like here. These are the areas where we're expecting above average precipitation over the next 10 days, which is what this covers. And as you can see, this pocket here receives basically nothing. So a very quiet area and a very active area. And there isn't very much in between, as you can see. So again, very consistent with where those storms are hitting, which leads towards even worsened impacts because of storm after storm after storm. Uh, and that should be, you know, obvious. I don't think I have to elaborate too much on that. As we reach uh, later today, we can see the rising warm temperatures through the Midwest and the East here, and then a lot cooler here for the Northern Rockies and Northern Plains. Um, this is kind of the outlier in the upcoming pattern, because as you can see, we're gonna reach into a colder period here for sure, which is a lot more in line with what we've called for for our July forecast. We have the positive PNA here, which just stands for Pacific North American Oscillation. This is where we receive warmer conditions. Uh, and this sends the colder air here uh, through the central and eastern states, really, really uh, bringing that cold air down uh, because of this warm elongated area along the west. It kind of creates an equilibrium where this cold has to dive south because of that warm heading north. It has to go somewhere, so the cold dives south. Uh, and again, this is a lot of what we've been calling for for our July forecast. And that la lasts quite a while. It finally maybe dies down around the 18th. So that's probably about a week of those colder temperatures. Uh, we still have about neutral temperatures in a lot of these areas, but overall looking a little bit warmer in the east during this time frame, kind of the 18th through 20th time frame. So we'll have to really, really watch and see what happens with this. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, Prestige Weather, check it out. We do have the fall and winter forecast up there for early access. And for any 4th of July plans you might have, we may be able to uh, sneak in a couple of consulting calls today. Uh, I cannot guarantee that, but if you do have any plans, we might be able to help with that as well on top of those other benefits. So be sure to check it out today in the pinned comment and description down below. Be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one as we do upload every single day. You can even hit the bell icon for daily notifications when we upload so you never miss one. Be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in the next video.